Hello everybody, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon, wherever you are. We are in uh, day number 15 of our series, Questions from God to Man, and we're still de dealing with Moses, and as you remember, uh, Moses saw the burning bush, and um, he uh, the, it was not being consumed, and so he met God. Uh, because that's the way the Lord chose to meet with Moses. And he told him to go to the Israelites and to Pharaoh and to tell Pharaoh, who was the king of Egypt, who had enslaved the Hebrews or the Israelites, uh, to let him go. Uh, Moses uh, had concerns about that. Um, and so that's kind of where we find ourselves. And if you take a look at the scripture for today, hopefully you can see this. I'm not going to move the Bible because it'll mess up my setup. <laughs> but um, uh, Moses said to the Lord, O Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. OK, and yesterday uh, the question we looked at was the Lord said to him, who gave man his mouth? OK, so that's kind of where we started. Um, but the next question the Lord asked, which is today's question who makes him deaf or mute, okay? So uh, on a l larger scale, sliding that over, and maybe I can um, zoom out just a little bit. Uh, God asked this question. Who makes man deaf or mute? Now, this is an amazing question because uh, people will always talk about if God exists, uh, why are bad things happening? If uh, being deaf or mute is actually bad, it just depends on your perspective. Um, but in, in this case, uh, we see that we, we've got an issue. Um, the, the Lord, or you can just say God for short, uh, the, the Lord gives a flowchart here. He gives a command to Moses. And the problem is, uh, Moses has a barrier to what God said. And the barrier is he, um, he can't because of his speech and also by default that Pharaoh won't listen. So we can just say, no, listen. Okay, uh, so he talks about his speech, and he doesn't say that Pharaoh won't listen, but trust me, you're talking about the king of Egypt, uh, who's very eloquent, and then, uh, you know, Moses, in his own estimation, is not. Um, and so uh, what, what God does is he gives a correction uh, for each one of these. He has to intervene, again, because of sin. Uh, there's the command from God, and this is not... Uh, a written Bible like we have today or a preacher talking, this is the Lord speaking directly to Moses. And you see how sin intervenes. Um, he basically is being disobedient, uh, just like Adam and Eve. And so God has to intervene and basically correct Moses. And the correction is in the form of a question. So when, when he says, um, he's got speech issues and he's thinking in his heart that Pharaoh won't listen, um, God uh, ask him the question, who makes the mute and who makes the deaf? <laughs> so Pharaoh is, is, is not in his, in Moses estimation, Pharaoh won't listen. And, uh, in, in Moses estimation, his speech is, is poor. And so, um, God is saying, asking the question, who makes the mute and who makes the deaf? And so, uh, again, we go back to our analogy yesterday that uh, the, the people say that uh, there's evolution, which means that our mouth has evolved, and now we have this superior uh, speech that makes us above everything else, the amoebas that we allegedly used to be, and the fish that we allegedly used to be, and the monkeys we allegedly used to be, and the half ape that we used to be, and now we've evolved into um, humans and then, and now we're superior. Okay. But are we really superior? I mean, how do we behave? We're the most, uh, warlike, uh, creation that's on the planet. We're killing people left and right. We're doing mass murders. Uh, we're, we're doing all kinds of unspeakable things that I shouldn't say because kids 
are allowed to listen to this, but but I, I would submit to you that that theory is is uh, just that. It's a theory and it's incorrect. God says in the scripture that he created us and that uh, he, he created us to be uh, brilliant. And um, because of sin, which is the intervention, not the intervention, excuse me, it's the, it's the problem, um, we are deteriorating or we are inferior compared to the way God uh, created us. And so the Lord has to intervene here because of the sin. And that's exactly what is happening with Moses. And God is saying, is asking the question, who created the deaf and who created the mute? Not evolution, creation. See, this is creation. Sorry for the sloppy writing. Um, but God created um, everyone, including those who are uh, deaf and mute, which is going into a different question that we'll be talking about uh, later. So the, the question that I have for you is, um, you know, the God that exists has a command for you, multiple commands, but just think of the command that maybe you're not obeying. And here's you. What is your barrier? What what excuse are you giving um, that, that that God would say as you see my feet down there? <laughs> as as uh, what what excuse are you giving um, to God that um, that you you cannot? You know, and God's asking the question: Who made the mute? Who made the deaf? Okay, so God uh, uh, is challenging us to to say that He created us. And so as I flip the page here, this all goes to one thing, um, one large word, uh, purpose. We are created for a purpose. So you, you're not just a happenstance. There wasn't a big bang and you just happened to come into existence and you're going to die. And um, there's, there's no, you know purpose for you. You were created for a purpose, just like Moses was created to do what, what he did. And you can read the book of Exodus to learn about, um, Moses entire life. And there's other books, but Exodus definitely, um, tells, uh, the, the, the narrative of the history of his life and how God used him for you and I. Um, but what about you? Who made the deaf and the mute? Who, who made you? That's the question for today. I hope that you meditate on this and you spend some time reading. And definitely Exodus is a great reading, especially uh, if you want to read it in one sitting. That is pretty amazing. And ponder that question. Who made the deaf and the mute? Have a blessed one.